Well, hey there, guys. Uh, welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you guys have had a uh, hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, the last couple days here, we've been uh, getting buried by snow. Not quite like Buffalo, you know. We ain't getting six feet, but we're getting enough just to make uh, make roads a little hazardous. So you know, work today. Couldn't even get out of the driveway earlier today. But, uh, you know, that's unfortunately going to continue all day all uh, all day today. This is uh, Wednesday morning. That's when I'm uh, recording this. But uh, I wanted to talk a little, about, a little bit about something here. A few people have wondered in the, in the comment section. I've done, I've done, I think, at least one video on this before. And uh, I thought, well, you know. For, for new people who aren't quite sure of, uh, you know, how to do this, I figured I'll do it again. So, uh, with that said, uh, if you are new to the channel, uh, welcome. If you, I hope, uh, you know, hope you, hopefully you enjoy the video. If you like hockey content, any kind of hockey content, Jersey talk, Jersey unboxings, uh, you know, little, little PSAs or something like this is going to be. Um, or, you know, just any, any general hockey, hockey news, hockey, you know, any kind of hockey. I love talking about it. It's my passion. I, uh, I've loved it. I've loved the sport since I was, you know, since I could barely walk. I could almost, I could practically almost skate before walking. And, uh, you know, I just, I just love hockey. So if you love hockey, uh, any type of hockey, uh, it would be awesome if you were to hit that subscribe button. And uh, also hit that like button also, especially if you like the video. And, uh, and yeah, so, you know, that would be, uh, that would be awesome. It would be greatly appreciated. And uh, now I want to talk about, because some people, like I said, some people in the comments section have been kind of curious about this. And it's uh, the care, the jersey care. You know how do you how do you clean your jerseys? How do you you know keep you know how do you keep them clean? You know this that and the other. And I've I've said it in comment sections and stuff like that. I figured you know what I'll do a video I'll do another I'll do a video again on it talking about it. Cleaning cleaning your hockey jerseys, laundering your hockey jerseys. Now it doesn't matter what uh, necessarily what brand it is. You know I mean this this is a CCM. It can be a CCM, it can be a Reebok, it could be a Nike, uh, it could be an Adidas. It's basically they're 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 all cared for the same. And I learned it, you know, I, I initially learned it from my from uh, from my mom because she she's the one who when I first started collecting jerseys, she's the one who would wash them. And I didn't know. You know, I mean, I, I wasn't sure how to do it. She was the one who always did it until I went away to college. And then she told me how to do it. And, uh, but there was one, there was one instance that, uh, and this is, this is when I went away, this is, you know, when I went away to college and, uh, you know, it didn't really dawn on me at the time that, uh, you don't ever put your jerseys in the dryer. Never put them in the dryer. That will wreck them. It will ruin them. And that's not a that's not good. Not a good thing. So the main the main reason why you don't put them in the dryer is this is I believe I got this the first year they moved from uh, Quebec, I got this Colorado Avalanche jersey, and uh, you know it's a nice jersey. This is why you don't put them in the dryer. You might kind of be able to see here and see this st this uh, this stitching going going all around. It goes all the way around the edge. As you can see here, you know, that kind of did it too. But uh, the reason why, here's one reason. Look at that. I 
accidentally put this in the dryer. I took it out. And the logo was literally almost peeled off all the way. It was probably peeled off. It was probably about to about right there. From where, from where it, uh, or no. Because it's from right there. So, yeah. It peeled off here, and it went almost all the way over here. I mean, it was, it was, it was ugly. I was very distraught. And I'm just like, oh my God. And I thought, you know, what, what the heck, what the heck am I going to do? You know, well, you know, fortunately a friend of my mom's, you know, she kind of, you know, she kind of sewed. So she, she put the logo back down and sewed around the edge so it wouldn't peel up anymore. But, uh, but yeah, that's why you don't put them in the dryer. You will ruin the logo. The logo will peel up. So that's why you never put them in the dryer. Always hang them up. Always hang them up when you're done washing them. Now, some people have asked, do you dry clean them? No. You don't dry clean them. At least you don't, you don't dry clean them in the way that, you know, like dry cleaning a suit or something, you know, that doesn't, you know, don't take them to the dry cleaner. The easiest way, now of course, this depends on what type of washer you have. You can put it on a permanent press or even just a normal or just like a normal wash cycle. Or you can do a quick wash, which again, depending on what kind of washing machine you have. If you have that setting for, you know, normal or permanent press or, uh, or the quick wash, you know, any one of those will work. You know, especially if you want it done, if you want it done quick, you know, quick wash takes 20, like 20, 25 minutes. So it's not too bad. A normal, a normal wash or a permanent press wash is about 50, 50 to 60 minutes, I think. Some, somewhere in there. But, uh, but what you do, when you put those, when you put those in the washing machine, now those are the settings you put them on. You can use basically whatever kind of detergent you want to use. Like me, like I have this jersey right here. This is one I need to wash. I took this out of the closet and I realized, and I noticed, I'm like, oh, I got to wash that because, ah, look at that little stain right there. Yeah, so I got to wash this thing, but I want to look for, but I want to look, I don't want to just wash that on its own. And that's another thing you try. That's, a, that's another thing. You know, you can just wash one. If you're just, if you're just washing one, a quick wash might be the way to go. But if you're washing multiple, like if you're washing four, five, six, whatever, then you probably want to do the, the normal uh, the normal wash or permanent press wash. That's, you know, if you have more, if you have more than one, if you're doing, you know, so like I said, five, six, whatever. But what you do, you can use any kind of detergent you want. Now, like I said, with that one, with that little spot there, what I use to kind of spot treat those is I use uh, OxyClean. I use OxyClean liquid. It comes in a spray bottle, so it's very easy to go and you know you go, you treat it, and you know you spray the you spray the OxyClean on the spot, and uh, you know you let it you let it sit there for a couple minutes, and then you put it in. I do that with a lot of them. I do that with most of them actually. Even if they don't have a spot like that, what I will do is I will spray the OxyClean on like the sleeves on the ne the the neckline the logo uh you know anywhere where you never know where it could get dirty you know even even under the arms sometimes you know i mean i've looked sometimes and you end, you end up you end up with a little uh little dirt mark you know little dirt marks under the under the uh the arms like right here like right there along the seams i mean there's none on here but i've noticed that a couple times and i'm like how the heck does that happen I don't necessarily know, but I always, I spray the OxyClean under there too. 
So that's that's what I use. You know, you guys, you know, you could use basically whatever you know, whatever whatever you'd want to do. You could even use the type of detergent you have and and just kind of you know, I mean, even just a little bit and rub it in or whatever. But for me, spraying the OxyClean in the bottle is the easiest for me. It's a really good way to to uh, to uh, kind of spot shot it or or uh, spot treat it. And then when you put them in. Like I said, you can use any kind of detergent, any kind of liquid detergent you want. You might even, I think, now I haven't done this yet with the uh, the pods, like the Tide pods. I think you could do that. I think you could, could wash them like that. I mean, they work for normal, you know, for normal laundry. So you might be able to use that on your jerseys. Me personally, I just use the liquid detergent and I, I pour it in the, the spot where the detergent goes. And, uh... You know, I go, I shut it, I go and I set the thing. If I have, you know, like I said, if I have five or six of them, I'll put them on the normal wash. And uh, temperature, cold. Cold water. Don't do it warm. Don't do it hot. Because if you do it hot, that will ruin the logos also. That also can ruin the material. So... And then once they're done, once you get them out of the washing machine, you put them on a hanger, you hang them, you hang them up. If you've got, uh, you know, if you've got like a little clothes rack or something, hang them up on there and let them, let them hang dry. Uh, I know my mom, whenever sometimes I'd come home from college or whatever, you know, and I'd bring home jerseys, you know, she'd, you know, run, run them through the washing machine. She would then go and hang them on the clothesline. So that when you can, when you go and bring them in when they're all dry, they're all nice, fresh smelling, and uh, you know that was that was always a uh, pretty uh, pretty pretty neat uh, pretty neat. And yeah, it was always it was always good. You know, you get you get the fresh smell, and you know you still get that with you know hanging. You know, if you've got a uh, a scenty type detergent, you'll you'll kind of get that, but. You hang dry them after you get them out of the washing machine. You put them on the hangers. You let them hang dry and you just let them hang there for however long it takes to dry them. And there you go. Now, some people, some people turn their jerseys inside out. And that works too. I have, I have not. But uh, there are times when I take them out of the washing machine, even though I didn't turn them inside out, they come out and they're inside out. <laughs> But, uh, you know, and it's just like, oh, all right, you know, you take it, maybe right side up, right, you know, right side out. But, uh, you know, you can do it, you, for, you know, for me and how, and how I've done it, you can do it either way. You can turn them inside out. You can leave them right side, you know, right side out. To me, it, it hasn't really mattered. But, uh, you know, for, for other people, it might. But, uh, but yeah, so that's... Uh, that's kind of how, that's how I launder my jerseys. And, uh, you know, whatever way you guys want to, whatever way you guys want to do it, go ahead. But, uh, you know, if you're only washing, say, one or two jerseys, I think a quick wash will work. Quick wash will probably be the best if you're running just, like, one or two. If you're doing, if you're doing more than two, if you're doing, say, like I said, five or six or more, depending on how big your washing machine is. That's where you want to do on the the normal cycle or the permanent press cycle, whichever setting you have on your washing machine. And said, all oh, it depends on what what your washing machine is. But uh, but yeah. So when you put them in there, if you're only washing one or two, do the quick wash. If you're doing five, if you're doing like four, five, whatever. Permanent press or normal cycle. Cold water, always cold water. And uh, and then when they're done, when they're done in the washing machine, you take them out, you put them on the hanger, you hang them up, and you let them dry. So that is that that is that is how I launder my my jerseys. And uh, you know, I'd love to know you know how how do you guys care for yours? Do you guys care for yours in a similar fashion? Uh, I would love to know. Uh, I'd love to know what you guys think in the uh, comment section, 
And, uh, you know, I hope for, for people who, who have questions, uh, hopefully this video helps. So, uh, so yeah, nothing like a little, uh, lawn, Jersey, Jersey laundry tutorial. I guess maybe you could call it that, but, uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, check out the discord also. I'll put the link in the, uh, the link to the discord in the description and, uh, and yeah, let me know how you guys launder your jerseys. Hit like and subscribe if you have not done so already. And uh, I'll see you later.